So this was this was last week for me, something that showed up at my shop that I was like, oh, cool, they have one, I'm taking it. Um, and so I went in cold with it. And uh, let me see, where did it, yeah, where did it go? It's there right you go. here. Um, you can, if you like really study the cover, I think you can pick up a little bit of who these uh, characters are. Is that um, Odin? It looks like Odin. Uh, you're 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 not far off. It's it's Zeus. So ah. we're talking Greek pantheon or the Olympic pantheon, right? Um, and essentially, what's going on in this one is uh, the gods, the old Greek gods, are sick and tired of us humans and how we've like uh, disrespected them and just ruined the world and blah blah blah. So, anyways, they kind of come down and like have a reckoning. Yeah, and then like when things spooky. are all said and done, one of Zeus's children, in this case, uh, Artemis, who is uh, the goddess of hunting mm -hmm. and the name of my dog and the name of your dog. Um, <laughs> 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 yeah, but yeah, so I went in, I went in cold and like, I was just honestly just like very pleasantly surprised with this one. Mm. Um Cause I didn't, I didn't like look at the cover in too much detail. The reason I saw this one would be like a cool in the grab is that both uh, the guy from you promised me comics. I think his name might be Jonathan had mentioned it. And then uh, comics with Bueller is another person that I follow. That's actually up in Portland okay. uh, that, uh, that uh, Hedrick kind of made me more aware of. Um, and it was, and I think that they had both talked about it, or maybe it was uh, Cole's comic claims. Maybe had talked about it. Somebody, somebody else talked about it. And I was like, I'm going to get just it. Keep listening. People. I'm just going to keep listening. I, I just need to say, like, I want, I want to shout out who I'm watching, so I give a fair chance to everybody else of like how I'm sure. finding what I pick up. And yeah, so it censors on the appearance of the Olympian gods. Zeus is reclaiming the earth under the sole dominion. Uh, faulting technology for humanity's lack of faith in them. Uh, mm -hmm. And then, yeah, he forces humans into like a life of servitude and worshiping them. So like there's panels in here where it's like, there's people at the park, like worshiping a statue of one of the gods and not, they all live now in, in New York. Yeah. In, in Olympus, New York. Oh, that's fun. Yeah. Um, and but the situation gets pretty ugly pretty quick because like once it's all said and done, like I think it's like 10 years later, like two years later, um, that like the gods have kind of settled into their lives and Artemis who she's also like the God of chastity. So like she's sworn to like never marry. Well, that explains why we got that procedure for the dog then. Yeah. Right. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh